everyone welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing okay yes i know i have on the green wig with the green makeup and the green shirt so we're just green with envy today all right i want to do a, a recap on that video in auburn michigan um i saw the video in its entirety or more of what what had happened and I just want to do a re to do a recap because I did see Sean Bradley. Um, you know, he was saying that someone Q had the video and the entire video, and you know, it it made a difference. What I will say about that is, I've been to New York. I mean, not New York, Detroit. Not multiple times, but I've been there a few times. I think I've been to Detroit four or five times in my entire life. And I am not very vested in Detroit, but um, I do, you know, my dream is to live in Detroit, is to live and die in Detroit. I, I do want to leave California, but that, that's another video. Um, and things are just a little different in Detroit as maybe the rest of the world. Um, I feel think Detroit is an open carry state and with the hostility that goes on in Detroit I have not witnessed it um with my eyes but when oh 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 this one is gonna be a problem um with um while I was there I briefly said shared this on some video I'm not exactly sure but I was in Detroit and this was like six years ago yeah, six years ago, 2014, and I went to go visit Shay at the Shay Show. And um, there were three houses because Shay, he drives around all over Detroit and he helps fix houses on Detroit, sorry. And um, there were three houses and they were abandoned and they've been torn down. Gosh, I wish I could have been there to say those houses. Beautiful. Detroit has some of the most beautiful um, structures just be especially downtown my goodness anyway so i was like stop stop the car stop the car actually shay has a video on it so you know i was like stop this car stop the car you know it was shay dave and i i jump out you know i go you know walking through the houses they were di dilapidated and you know vacant or whatever and you know they've been torn down since um i think it was three houses and i think somebody brought them on ebay for like they they brought like ten houses for ten thousand dollars or fifteen or seventy five thousand something like that anyway so you know by looking at all of his videos you know to see the houses you know it's like oh my god you know these are the houses I remember these I'm like stop the car stop the car and I go through the houses or whatever by myself um, Dave and Shay are in the van so then you know I go through one house and then I went through another and then I hear Dave or Shay like come on Rosette let's go let's go so I'm like, what? And so then, you know, I go down or whatever. And then, you know, I think Shay is like, hey, you can't, you know, just be going through houses and, and stuff like that or whatever. Now, when I went downstairs, I saw two very handsome, you know, black men, you know, across the street or, you know, they were talking or something like that. You know, nothing, whatever. Well, I later learned that those other two guys pulled out a gun on Shay and Dave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's why they were like, okay, time to go. Time to go. That's how Detroit is. Okay. That's how Detroit is. They will pull out. They will pull it out and they will shoot you and they will kill you. Okay. Now, I'm talking about from a black person. This is black on black in Detroit. Now, to see a white woman pull a gun on a black person on video, I'm just like, you know, I was like, oh, you know, she's racist. What's wrong with you, Karens and blah, 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 blah. But when I saw the entire video in its entirety, I was like, oh, okay. So that's what happened. The little girl. So apparently... Again, I wasn't there, but from looking at the video, I'm assuming um, the white woman, the Karen, bumped into the, the child. Okay, okay, all right, you know, 
She may have done it on purpose out of aggression. We don't know. They didn't videotape that. But, you know, the mother and the child confronted the woman. Okay, you know, the lady said, you know, she apologizes and, you know, don't, you, you guys are doing too much or whatever, but they wanted to make a mountain out of a molehill. I'm guilty of that. We are all guilty of that one time or, the, or, or the, another in our lives, okay? Some of us, I'm very extra, as you can tell, with the green on or whatever. I'm very extra mentally. I'm extremely extra physically. Um, psychologically, I'm a little more than extra. And just, you know, just culturally, I'm, I'm extra, all right? So on the video, Karen pulls out a gun, you know, because, you know, they uh, apparently, oh, this week, apparently, um, the mother had went behind the the truck. I don't know if the mother was trying to block them from backing out. I'm not exactly sure, but the you know the driver had pulled out and the mother had hit the car like, hey, you know, don't hit me or whatever. So that's when Karen came out with the gun. Now. For her to pull a gun, that's one thing. Now, if they were to start fighting and she would have pulled out the gun, okay. But for her to pull out the gun was a little extra, but that's how they get down in Detroit. And this was Auburn. This wasn't Detroit. This was outside of Detroit. This is how you get down in the Wild Wild West. Like, Detroit is off the chain. And I love the city, and I can't wait to move there, but, you know, in Rome, you have to do as the Romans do. And with all of the protests and everything, on top of the everyday culture in New York, I mean, not in New York, in Detroit, I get it. I'm not condoning it. I'm not advocating for it, but I get it. They are, there. a lot of people are packing, not just black people, I, as you can see, a lot of people are packing. I don't own a gun. Um, I have handled a gun because I told you I wanted to be a, a policeman, a policewoman. Um, I've never shot a gun. I've never had a gun pulled out on me. No, I've never had a gun pulled on me. I don't, you know, when I was in Detroit, you know, Shay, Dave didn't have a gun, but I think Shay is back in. Like, it's normal for everyone to pack because you never know what's going on. But it's an open carry state. So that's how the culture is. Again, in Rome, you do as the Romans do. Now, that little girl, just like I told you about that young woman who went off on that cop in the airport and she got slapped. I don't condone violence. I don't advocate for police brutality but there has to be some type of um code for respect and these young people the the girl who was mouthing off who the white woman bumped and she didn't say excuse me or sorry you know the the 15 year old was nah, 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 nah. see my I, I i wouldn't get down like that my son knows this place and you know, I don't like when little kids talk to me. I told you I went next door because, you know, they were, it felt like they were closing the window, but it felt like they were like trying to, someone was trying to tear off a piece of the building. So I went next door and, you know, I was like, hey, something's going on, whatever. And then the little boy was like, ah, la, 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 la. I was like, no, you don't talk to me. You tell your mother and we discuss, but you as a little child, you stay in your place. And I had to tell the uncle and the mother, y'all need to fix this because this is very disrespectful. Now, they're Ethiopians. I don't know how you get down in Ethiopia. Well, actually, I do. I know they don't go for that. But definitely, I'm old school. Keep that child in that place. The 15-year-old was wrong. The mother was wrong because she should have told the girl, okay, you shut up. I'm discussing it with an adult. I'll take care of this. 
but the mother allowed the little 15 year old to do it and that's i guess that's what they do you know these little kids think that you know they they can say certain things whatever i constantly have to tell myself no 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 you don't tell talk to yourself like oh my mom just playing no 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 certain things you do okay i've been slapped many a times by my mother <laughs> and she has a heavy a heavy hand my mother has a heavy I don't know. some of these kids need they but I, I just I don't know black and white and Asian. now Asians and Mexicans I don't I don't get a lot of disrespect they're very respectful of their elders but these white and black kids, oh no, honey. Ooh, especially these little white kids. Hey, oof. Oh, and the black ones too. My niece. Ooh, she was bad. When <laughs> she was mixed, she's mixed with black, white. But oh, oh, and my other cousin. Oh my God. They were horrible. Ooh, little bad kids. Not, you know, yeah. Just, you know, mamas don't like nobody to tell them to date them, and the mamas don't want to do them. Uh, but they're very, they're amazing, beautiful women. Highly intelligent now. I don't know if there's a correlation to letting your kids be bad as hell when they're young. And then when they get older, they're beautiful and, you know, amazing and geniuses and all that. I don't know. Maybe there is a correlation. I don't know. But no. Um, now, the, the, the man and the woman, they got arrested, but they were released. And I would think for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon with that car, I think maybe that's, I don't know, but that's what I would assume that they were arrested for. But as far as pulling that gun, then black people know that's how they get down. I don't know what they were surprised about. That was Michigan, okay? in Auburn. So if you talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. If you go and talk all that or whatever, no, honey, you don't have to be black to be pulled up on. These people are packing. Everybody's packing, especially in these times. So buyer beware. Now you guys can mouth off and your kids can mouth off and you can mouth off. But when someone pulls up and pulls out, don't be surprised. Again, I'm not advocating that that, you know, for that white woman to pull out a gun to get them off of her. I'm not advocating that because she did a little extra, but the black people did. They were extra too. All what was needed was, you know, and I'm going to take that into note too because I can be extra too, not as a black person, but as a woman, as a black person, as a single mother, blah, 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 blah. you have to be careful in these times black people need to be careful white people need to be careful all races all genders all social economic statuses everything everyone needs to be careful because you know someone was talking about on tv everyone has cabin cabin fever and everyone is like up here when it comes to stress you know people are having financial financial difficulties mental difficulties physical health difficulties and you know you guys need to take it down a little just because you're black it doesn't mean that you have the right to you know go stir crazy on people i understand that there's issues that's going on in the world but don't make it worse don't you be don't you be don't become the next statistic okay because easily that woman could have shot both of them dead because it seems like she was two seconds away because the black woman kept walking towards the woman. Now, I must say this. The mama was kind of stupid. If somebody pulls a gun out on you, that's not the time to be Billy Badass. Because you can be Billy Badax six feet under. And then what's going to happen with the little girl? She's not going to have a mother because you wanted to talk or whatever. But the mother should have held that stuff right in the, um, right where it started. The little girl. Oh, mom, you know, she bumped into me. Ma'am, you know, I'm sorry, but my, my daughter feels as if 
you bumped into or, you know, is there an issue or something like that? That's when you become grown. See, that's the difference between a mother and a child. But the mother was acting just as bad as the child. The white woman said, okay, you know, we're sorry. I love you. You know, blah, blah, blah. but the black woman wanted to take it there. And listen, I'm not being hypocritical because I've been there. No, no one has ever pulled a gun on me. But have I went off on the deep end for something minute and petty? Yes, I have. I would be lying to you if I said I didn't. Yes, I have. Will I be anymore? I hope not. Not at this age. Not with the green wig. No. So I wanted to come back and not correct, but maybe clarify more of what I've seen. Because, you know, to be a commentator and to just point the fingers even after you've seen the entire story, still not come back and say anything. That's not right. That's not right. So was I wrong? I got to go back and look at that video and see what I said. Was she a Karen? Yeah, she was Karen because she shouldn't have pulled out the gun. But in Rome, you do as the Romans do. So I'm not there. You know, if someone now. In that instance, she may have had um, the right to say she felt threatened because the mother was just doing too much okay okay you know the woman said she's sorry she said she loved you okay all right you know all right sis you know okay thank you i appreciate that you know you you apologize to my daughter that's it but no 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 they went beyond they went beyond okay well then you want to go beyond then guess what you're gonna get something that you don't want you don't want people you don't want black people you don't want white people you, you don't want um Asians and Mexicans, you don't want that. Please don't mess with Asians. Because if you guys think that white people are crazy, don't get on an Asian's bass. I let me tell you, they got these Asian gangs that will skin you alive. You think I'm playing, huh? Um, you think I'm playing? Leave them, leave them Asians alone. Mexicans will behead you. I ha I've heard some stories. I've heard some stories, honey. That Mexican co uh, cartel is no joke. So I'm just going to leave it where it is. You guys be safe. Have a safe and blessed weekend. Bye.